Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of the book of Romans and Romans 3, verse 23. And we looked at last or yesterday about one of the problems with righteousness being that God is a holy God. And therefore, if we're going to have a right relationship with him, we must be without sin because he is a holy God and he cannot look at sin. Well, that, that's compounded even further with, with what Romans 3.23 says. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. So there's none of us who have not sinned. We, have all, we are all sinners. We all fall short of God's standard. And that's a very good definition of sin. In fact, we've talked about it before, that, that sin literally means just missing the mark. It's a, it's a term as if you're shooting an arrow. The bullseye is God's standard, that smallest part on the target. And if you miss that, even by an inch, even by a centimeter, that is sin. You have missed the mark. Now, the Bible says that we have all done this. So there's none of us that can go before God and say, I am without sin. Now, this is the issue then. If we're going to have a right relationship with God, we need to be without sin. And the Bible says we cannot be without sin. The Bible says we have all sinned. Therefore, we are all under under wrath from God. We are, are we deserve punishment for that sin. And so the only way, again, that we can have a right relationship with him is if somebody pays for those sins. Either us or somebody else. The only way that, that we can be on right terms with God is if that sin is atoned for. And no, you cannot make up for it by just doing good or trying to do better the next time. That's not how it works. I mean, just imagine if, if you were on trial for a crime you committed. Say your sin is a crime that you committed. And you tell the judge, oh, yes, I committed this sin, but I have done a lot of really good things since then. It's not justice to, to say, okay, because you've done good, I'll erase the bad. That's not how it works. The only way to have the bad things erased is for somebody to pay for it, for somebody to atone for for it. And as we'll see tomorrow, that is the exact reason that Jesus came. And so the, the, we can't, again, the, one of the reasons that, that we can't just go before God and say, I am holy, I am clean, is because we are a sinner. We can't just say we have a good relationship with God or we're in a right relationship with God just because we do the good things. Because no matter how much good you do, there is still some sin in your life that needs covered for. Even if you're like, well, I haven't sinned as much as so-and-so or I've not sinned as much as somebody else, it doesn't matter. There is still something you've done, sins in your life that need to be paid for. And so the only way to have, a, have that right relationship is then to have somebody pay for those sins. And as we'll see tomorrow, that is what Jesus did. That is why Jesus is the only one who can give us righteousness or a right relationship with God. Amen.